<laughs> All right. Yep. Okay. Empoleon and the champ. Um, I really do like um, Heavy's Empoleon. Um, I think it's a really good fit for him. I think he gets he likes doing all the cool stuff the character can do. He's playing in an environment where he can get away with it a lot. Can do. Yeah. Well, it, okay, this character has, like, a lot of, like, cool things he can do. It's just that he doesn't really get a whole lot of opportunities to utilize them. Like, y you'll be able to see some, uh, cool movement here using his slide and stuff like that. Ooh. Alright. Oh, training distance right away. Not wanting to get anywhere near this Machamp. Alright, so... This is a bad situation. Ooh, nope. nice... Yep, not... Doing a nice job getting something out of the corner. Ooh, so much option coverage from Heavy Boy right now. So, you can see here, Heavy Boy's trying to approach. Not Heavy Boy, um, Haru is trying to approach. I'm used to seeing Heavy Boy play Machamp, this is really weird. Oh, I just can't go over that, uh, that Emolga. I know um, Emolga actually has a hard time going over that because he has a tall body. Oh, jeez. So, funny how just Machamp just like swings everything back. Like, he was losing the whole time, and then he's just winning. <laughs> You gotta realize one. Oh, oh my god! Thank you, Harahazu, for doing that. Thank you so much. That was the dumbest mismatch I ever seen in my life. <laughs> right. Nice, oh nice. My god. Oh. Uh, if he went for the, the butt slam, not butt slam, uh, JX. <laughs> um, that will probably have worked out a little bit better. But I, he did do the jump. I think, yeah, rock smash is what you're supposed to do. So that was nice knowledge from Haru. How do you feel about these support choices, Eden? I don't know. <laughs> I... Like, do you know what these two do? Well, yeah, I use Amola. Yeah. Um... He did switch to Fennekin, though. Yeah. Which is interesting, because... I know what that does. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, it creates the invincible force field. And you... You, um... Use... Miss Mag. Mag yeah. yeah. Um... Miss Mag is a really interesting support, because, um... I don't agree with that. Yeah, he... Oh, okay, I guess... At that point, he can't really do much about it. It's like an interesting choice from Polyon. Oh, okay, nice. nice. Mm -hmm. I think that was actually a punish. So heavy, heavy boy is in the lead right now. Oh. Nice. Did he get over it? He does. Oh my gosh. All right, this is a really, really commanding lead right now. Oh, oh yeah. wow. He just barely avoided the JX. Nice right. win. Mm -hmm. So what? What? Like, do you agree with uh, Haru's like? Like what he was doing, he like in the beginning, uh, first game he was like really trying to approach a lot, but I think that time around he just couldn't. He was yeah. too afraid. Like he kept falling for the uh, the JY compressors. He kept shielding them and not getting any advantage off of them. But you have to be careful because the CAC they could ice beam you or catch you with aqua jet. So you do need to be a little bit, a little bit careful. But eventually you'll notice that like Heavy Boy ended up putting himself in the corner a lot, and that meant he had to get himself out of the corner a lot. So he could be playing around them because yeah. Um, but um, if Haro catches on that. Um, Heavy just keeps putting himself into the corner. He can start approaching a bit more now because Heavy, Heavy Boy no longer has any place to go. Alright. So, ooh, change to Frogadier. I actually really agree with that. Um, just trying to get something here. So, thinking of, like on a fundamental level, like how how do would you feel like Machamp can deal with Napoleon? Like just thinking how the characters work. Um. I mean, because I mean, Machamp his big problem is that he can't get in on a lot of characters. Yeah. However, Napoleon really only has one or two ways to keep him out. So. All right. Man, so much good movement there from um, Heavy Boy. Just play. Causing Haru to panic and just press buttons and getting exactly what he wants. That's exactly what Empoleon is really good at. He can really abuse that, I feel like, on Haru. Oh! <laughs> Generous butt hitbox. Why would he go there? Yeah, like, he's really, like, he, the second he's getting advantage, he's going for risks that really he shouldn't be doing. There we go. Mm, I mean, it worked. It worked, I mean. <laughs> oh man, that, that hit. Nice big damage. Alright. Bulk up. Um, who's gonna pop synergy first? Probably Ace. Heavy Boy right now. Yep. It seems like he's better at um, movement and knowing when to like jump and when to. Mm -hmm. I feel like he's a lot. I, 
jumped it up. Oh, yep. Oh, big combo coming in. Oh, fancy combos. Oh, Boom. Yo, let's go. That was cool. Okay. Oh, that was a really sick combo. Trying to get fancy. Uh, I think Haru's overall winning a lot more field phases. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they just keep jumping over mm -hmm. each other. Nice approaching when he could. Oh, see that was good. That was good uh, acknowledgement by him because um, the second heavy boy um, used mismatch, he just left himself open. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to respect. Lot, just just going in a burst and just, just cross shopping. Just, I don't even care anymore. Oh. Oh, right. Ooh, the nine tail switch. Oh my god, how did that even happen? <laughs> okay, alright. So now Haru's getting a lot of advantage. Nice thing behind the wall, nine tails. Oh. Still back up against the wall though. I'm expecting. Yep, there's an off project to get out. It's, in, it's interesting to see habits like that. You always know the second he gets against the wall, he always off projects out. And if Haru catches on to that, he could just counter in that off project range and just snag him for it. Ooh, nice! And goes to the mix up. Okay, this could be big. Um, against the wall. Not opting for the um oh. bulk up. Oh he just ba 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 Appa Nice <laughs> Did he just close combat? Just why not, you know? <laughs> I can't even but it worked. It it worked. Well, okay, so Haru brought that back, like, really fast. I feel like he kind of learned it, maybe? I feel like he just kind of turned off his brain a little bit. Yes. Like, he just started going, like, I'm just gonna hit, hit him. Stuff. I'm gonna get in his face, I'm gonna punch him, alright? And when I punch him, I'm gonna keep punching him. I'm gonna keep and going I think, resets. I think that did, mm -hmm. caught him off guard because mm -hmm. he's obviously in the um, previous times mm -hmm. he's been doing yeah. not as... Mm -hmm. It's important that he's keeping his advantage, like not going for full combo there to keep trying to get advantage. Because one of the biggest um, faults of opponent is that he has terrible defense. Like when he's trying to get out of a bad situation, his options are really not great. Wow, that worked. It's a big rock. Well, oh, oh. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, oh man, I don't know that. What's the option here? He just does it. He just does it. And Alright, bulk up. No, no bulk up there, okay. Um, bulk up now. When are you bulking up, buddy? Whoa, where's Frog? Where'd Frog go? He betrayed him. Oh! He Frog falling. is... Frog was still... Well, he used Frog Deer, and he did the first volley. The second volley should have, like, interrupted the Aqua Jet, but it didn't show up. Like, he must have oh. missed somehow. Wow, too. Oh. I wonder if again. I wonder what he's got set up for that. What does that do? So it creates that wall, and if you touch the wall, you get hurt. So it basically makes it so you can like just sit behind it and wait out. Uh, it, does it cancel support? Does it cancel support? Uh, it, it, it creates like a shockwave that just, just cancels everything. Okay, because... Was he out of range? Is he out of range? Uh, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. oh did, he, did he get it? He oh, did. Yeah. Ooh, and the defense debuff from Rock Smash is going to hurt a lot. So, could, any, could anybody jump that and be yes. fine? Um, you have to expect it, though. You have to jump preemptively. However, jumping after Aqua Jet covers quite a few options out of it, so it's not a bad option. Yeah, but the thing is, he's my champ. He just needs, like, two conversions, and he's good. Uh, anyway. And there we go. Hey, boys, saying, okay, you had a fun game, two. We're done. <laughs> ET, I'm stealing you for the offline. You're against Alright. Murder him. You got this. 